Hi everyone, I'm Liz and welcome back to Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch for a vinyl front project bag tutorial. <music> tutorial I show you how I make just a basic plain vinyl front project bag. There are so many ways that you could customize this by using patchwork pieces on the back, um, on the front, quilting it, uh, people add handles and fun zipper pulls, uh, all kinds of different sizes. So there are um, a lot of ways you can customize this but for this video I'm going to show you how I make this exact bag. So let's get started. These are the pieces that you'll need to cut out to assemble your bag. You'll need an outside fabric, an inside fabric, two strips for the zipper, two pieces of fusible interfacing, a piece of vinyl, and then you'll also need to get a 14 inch zipper. Okay, we're gonna take everything over to the iron except for the vinyl and get the interfacing on our front and back pieces and um, iron these pieces to make our zipper casing. So we have two strips of fabric the same size and we need to turn one of these into the top zipper band and one into the bottom. So for the top zipper band, all we need to do is fold our piece in half and iron it down. And that's it for the top zipper band. Now for the bottom, we need to create a double fold. Um, this isn't bias, but a double fold binding. And so to do that, I like to go ahead and fold in half and press. When you open it back up, careful it's hot. <laughs> if you have a bias tape maker, definitely pull that out and use it. I don't have one for every size I need, so I just do this the old fashioned way. So I'm just folding this edge into that center crease and ironing this edge down. Okay, so now that both sides are ironed, ooh, I'll wait for it to cool off so I don't burn my fingertips. Okay, and then we just fold each half together with all of our ends enclosed, and we just give this a really good press to lock this binding all in place. Okay, so now we have our top zipper band and what will be our bottom zipper band. Next, I'm going to work on attaching the fusible interfacing to the front and back of my bag. I like to put a piece on each side of um, the bag because I like to use this thin, um, lightweight, fusible fleece. If you're using a super thick fusible fleece, maybe you would only want one layer. But with this thin one, I like to put it on both of the fabrics to give it some extra, extra sturdiness. So for the front of the bag, the um, front facing fabric, your interfacing will be cut to the exact same size as your bag. So you just want to line it up, flip it over, and iron it in place. For our backing, this is cut one inch wider in all margins than the front of our bag, and our interfacing is cut to the dimensions of the front of our bag. So we want to make sure this is centered with an inch on each edge all the way around so that it lines up with the front of our bag. So I'm going to get my little ruler and just make sure I am lined up. Okay, flip this over. 
and iron it on. Okay, great. So now we have our front and our backing lined with our fusible fleece. So we're gonna set these two aside. And what we're gonna work on next is our zipper band. So what we're gonna do to attach the zipper bands is with the top band that has this open edge, we're gonna top stitch it directly on to the zipper, right um, along the zipper teeth. And then the same thing with our lower bottom band. We're just gonna top stitch it on um, straight down the zipper to create our zipper panel. So I'm gonna take you over to the sewing machine and show you how I do that. Okay, so we're gonna attach our zipper bands starting with the top band. So we make sure that our open edge is at the top and that our folded edge is gonna lay right up against the zipper teeth. So I'm gonna open the zipper up slightly to get started. I'm lining my fold up with the zipper tape, but I'm not going right up against it. I'm leaving myself just a small little gap um, so my uh, zipper isn't caught up in the edge of my um, binding. And so to get around this zipper head, I pull the zipper open do a few inches of stitching, and then with my needle in the down position, very important to leave your needle down, you raise your foot, and then you can zip the zipper closed past your foot and resume sewing. That way you don't have any weird um, bumps around your zipper head while you're sewing. Okay. So we've got our top strip on, and now we want to top stitch on our bottom zipper strip. And really with this bottom one, you just want to make sure it is nice and lined up with your top one. And then again, when you're coming this direction on your zipper, you leave your needle down, you lift your foot, and we're gonna open the zipper past the foot, then set your foot back down, readjust your zipper. Okay, so now we have our zipper placket made. And the reason that um, the reason we make this is because you can't really sew the zipper straight onto the vinyl and have it look nice. So you create kind of a fabric enclosure. We'll end up slipping the vinyl into this little pocket and sewing it down. And that way we don't have to sew directly on the vinyl. We have a, la a layer of fabric between our sewing machine and the vinyl, which makes it much easier to sew with. So that's why we create this little um, zipper placket for the front of the bag. Our next step is to grab our piece of vinyl and add it to the bottom of our zipper binding. Here is my vinyl. I left the paper on it just so you can see it, but I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that now. So the vinyl can definitely be a little bit tricky, especially when it comes on a roll like mine did and it's a little bit um, rolled up. So I like to use, I would never use pins with the vinyl because it will leave a permanent hole. Um, so I use my wonder clips when I can. So for now, I am just clipping the vinyl into this side. I'm clipping over here. And then still using my zipper foot, although I'm gonna switch it to the other side. So still using the zipper foot, I am gonna sew the vinyl into our little casing. Okay, so I've locked my stitches into place. And so this tabletop that I'm sewing on is plastic. This vinyl is plastic. These do not slide well against each other. I'm gonna kind of hold my hand 
under the vinyl to keep it from dragging on my table as I attach the zipper binding. And so every couple inches, I'm just making sure that um, my vinyl is all the way pushed up against that seam. And then I'm sewing a straight line. <laughs> feel it dragging, so I'm going to hold on to it again. So now we have the front of our bag made. Let's start assembling our project bag. The first thing I am going to check is that my front of the bag is the same size as the inside front of my bag. And I can see that my vinyl is a little bit too long. I tend to overcompensate and I cut my vinyl a little bit long because it can always be trimmed down, but you can't add more to it. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm trimming about a half to almost a full inch off. So, um, you know, as you make more bags, you'll get a feel for how much and what size your vinyl needs to be. But um, I just like to leave myself a little extra wiggle room. So I am going to cut that off right now. So now our front of our bag is the same size as the inside of our bag. And so let's start assembling. We're gonna lay our backing and binding right side down. We're gonna lay our inside fabric right on top of that. And then we're gonna lay our front on top of that. At this point, you can do a basting stitch around all four sides of your bag to attach all the layers together before you start binding, or you can use the binding step to attach all layers. I like to do my binding um, at this point without doing a basting stitch um, because I don't like sewing directly on this with my machine feet because my machine feet stick to this. If you have a Teflon foot or a non-stick surface um, and are able to, you know, do a very light basting, um, go for it. But I am just from this point gonna start working on my binding. And I use a lot of these clips <laughs> to get everything secure before I go back to the sewing machine. So we've left ourselves an inch um, specifically to create the binding on the front of the bag to get all of the layers sewn together and so that we have something to sew to that's not just the vinyl. So since we've left ourselves an inch, that means we're gonna have half inch binding. Um, you'll fold your extra backing um, in till it's touching the edge of the, uh, the inside fabric. And I'm just doing a finger press so I know where that edge is. And then starting in the center, I make sure all of my stuff is lined up. And then I just start clipping my binding down to hold everything in place. Okay, so now I'm gonna flip it and do the top and then we're gonna talk about our corners. Okay, so to get this nice mitered corner, what I'm gonna do is my fabric is folded in half and then over on top of all three layers. Then I am gonna turn the corner at a 45 degree angle and finger press. So now we've got um, our folded over nice edge, folded over 
onto the new side with the raw edge. And then this side needs to come in to meet the edge of the fabric. And then this whole edge then gets turned right on top of itself to create a nice mitered corner. So with my finger holding that in place, I am gonna slide a clip onto there. And then one more. And then we're gonna come over and do the same thing on this corner. But first, actually, I forgot, I'm gonna cut off the end of the zipper. Put a clip right here at the edge. We're gonna go ahead and turn the corner with a 45 degree angle. Fold this edge up to meet the edge of the fabric. And then the whole thing fold over, creating a mitered corner. And now we're gonna repeat that for these two corners. Okay, so you can start to see how our project bag is gonna come together. And our next step is to take it over to the machine and top stitch our binding into place. Okay, so I am still gonna use my zipper foot on my machine because I don't want my regular foot to slide against this plastic and get stuck. So I'm gonna use my zipper foot and I am gonna top stitch an edge all the way around the bag. So I like to start at a bottom, um, on the bottom, uh, close to one of the corners. And so I'm gonna start right here. The corner is really gonna be your most tricky part. So you've done um, the work to fold your binding into the correct place, but you're gonna have to remove your clip in order to sew close enough to your corner. So what I like to do is I've removed my clip and I'm making sure everything looks all nice and I'm holding it down with my fingertip. So just using my right index finger and then my left hand is holding down this other portion of the binding and I'm gonna sew right up to and one stitch over into the side binding. As I get up to it, I make sure this fold, that the foot is not pushing this fold backwards. So if I have to lift my foot up to adjust, I do that to make sure everything is still laying nicely. So I get right up to the side binding and I go into the side binding and then back up a stitch. And then what I like to do to secure my corners is to rotate the bag 45 degrees and sew up that mitered edge just take about three or four stitches and then I back up and then I turn my bag so that I'm sewing down the new side all without ever taking your needle out of the bag so we sewed up to the corner down the corner back and now we're gonna come down this side So here I'm just kind of futzing with my corner to make sure it's gonna have a nice miter. And so once I'm happy with it and I'm holding my fold down into place, I'm just doing the same thing where I sew right over the where my two pieces of binding meet and then back up. And then lift my foot and rotate my piece 45 degrees. 
And so straight down that miter, back up, and then turn my bag to go down this side. And so then over here, you can see how I made that little um, line in the corner to really hold down our binding. And that's what your mitered edge um, should ideally, that's a pretty good one, yeah, ideally should end up looking like. we made a bag look at that you have all four corners nicely mitered and sewn down you've got your pretty backing fabric that wraps around to the front and now you can fill it with all of your cross stitch goodies So thank you guys for joining me and I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions um, and uh, feel like maybe something was missing or unclear, please ask them below in the comments. I will get back to you. Uh, I also did include in the description box below a typed out list of the supplies and the fabric pieces that you'll need to cut out to assemble the bag. So check the description box for information on fabrics used and all my supplies and yeah, enjoy making your own vinyl front project bag. Thanks for watching.